I wish somebody had told me this a long time ago when I was trying every single diet known to humankind. But now that I know the truth, now that I've learned how to jump off the diet roller coaster, I just can't wait to share it with you. My name is Ellen Allard of Ellen's Healthy Kitchen, and no matter where you are on your menopause journey, my mission is to help you plant your plate one healthy meal at a time. So here's one of the most important things I've learned as a nutrition educator and a health coach. It's the food. Once that cat was out of the bag and I learned the secret that it was the food, that I didn't have to exercise like a crazy person and go to all those high energy cardio classes. Once I learned that I could actually just go out and walk every day and eat the food that was gonna nourish me, sustain me, and help me to lose the menopause middle, all bets were off. Before I share my little secrets with you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. The secret is kind of simple. Come close. All you have to do is make sure you have the food in your house that you know is gonna help you reach your goals. And the next step is you have to prep it. Now that second step is super important because if you prep it, you're much more likely to eat it. The first vegetable we're gonna talk about is broccoli. It is absolutely one of my favorites, but I can tell you it wasn't always one of my favorites. I've kind of grown into it and I've learned how to prepare it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash it and then pat it dry, and then I'm going to cut it into pieces. I think about what size pieces I want my fork to dig into, what size pieces I wanna put in my mouth. Sometimes they're a little bigger, sometimes they're a little smaller, but generally I wanna make them the size that I'm gonna to want to eat. into the glass container it goes and then into the fridge and it's all ready for me to pull out at any point in time. I can use it for my first meal, my second meal, my third meal, even for snacks. I will water saute it in a pan with coconut aminos and onion and garlic powder. Sometimes I will just put it in the microwave. Sometimes I'll steam it on the stove, but whatever I do, it's all ready to eat for the week. Time for the spiralized zucchini, one of the most delicious and fun ways to eat zucchini. I've had a few different spiralizers. This one is my most favorite. It is made by OXO and it has suction cups that work. I've had spiralizers that have suction cups that don't work and it really makes it very difficult. This one is a piece of cake to use. Okay, it's ready to be used into the fridge it goes and all I have to do is heat it up in the microwave and mix it with some sauce and boom, I have a meal. It's time for half moon zucchini. You certainly can cut them into circles, but I find that half moons make a good size bite. And also it helps me eat it slower because there are more zucchini pieces to get on my fork. No matter what shape you cut them into, however, cutting them into uniform sizes makes them cook much more evenly. Personally, I like the half moons because they look kind of great on your plate, they're cute. And also, you know that we eat with our eyes, right? Okay, into the container. And if you're wondering, I do prefer glass containers, though I still do have some plastic ones. All right, into the fridge and all ready for easy stovetop steaming or sauteing or microwave cooking. They're even good raw in a salad or dipped in hummus. Okay, my prepped half moon zucchini is ready to go. It's time to grate the zucchini. You'll notice that I'm wearing gloves. I do that because I can't tell you how many times I've scraped my knuckles and it's not fun because then I get blood and ugh, it's just disgusting. I don't even want to go there. Okay, anyway, so I'm grating the zucchini and yes, I could do this in my food processor. I actually have a grating disc, but I wanted to just show you how to do it by hand because not everybody has a food processor or a food processor with a grating disc. So it's easy to do it by hand. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. I think this might've taken me two minutes. And you know, speaking of that, I also wanna talk about the idea of allowing yourself the time to do this, to actually prep your food because after all, your body, your vessel, this is the only one you've got. And if you give yourself the time, the grace to do this, it's just a blessing. It's really part of your health journey. All right, that's a lot of grated zucchini. Into the glass container it goes, and then into the fridge to use this week. Okay, time to prep the blueberries. I put an absorbent cotton towel on the bottom. It's sort of like a little washcloth, and pour the washed blueberries in, and then I put another absorbent towel on top of it. I find that this really keeps the blueberries nice and fresh. It keeps them from getting moldy and yucky. Put the lid on, and boom, I'm done. Into the fridge it goes. 
Time for the snap peas. I love these things. I wash them, dry them, roll them around sort of in a towel, and then I cut off the strings with a little paring knife. It's tedious, I'm not gonna lie, but it's worth it. They're so good to put in a salad or to take out and bring on the road with me, sometimes for a little snack in the car. They're delicious. Okay, it's time for torn tofu. This is a Trader Joe's high protein tofu, but honestly, any tofu will do. I cut it open from the bottom and found that that knife wasn't a great choice. So I switched over to a serrated knife and that made it much easier. And I took the tofu and I poured the water out of it over the sink and squeezed it with a paper towel. And then I started to tear it into pieces, basically like little tofu croutons. Okay, now for the good part. I added all of the ingredients you see on the screen, the nutritional yeast, cumin, garlic powder, curry powder, chili powder, salt and pepper, water, coconut aminos. Don't forget the water. I didn't add it during the filming. Mixed it up, and then I took a piece of parchment paper, scrunched it, because it makes it easier then to lay flat, poured the torn tofu onto the parchment paper, slid it into the air fryer, and set it all up to cook, and when it was done, poured it into the glass container and got it all arranged there. You can see some of it spilled out. And it is just one of the most delicious recipes. It's good hot, it's good cold, it's good on salads, it's good with rice, so many different things you can do with it. And of course, you're gonna notice I took a little tiny taste of it because who could resist? Torn tofu, delicious. And now into the fridge it goes, all ready for this week. Time for the brown rice in the Instant Pot. Start with a cup of brown rice. I did it four quarter cups. Then you're gonna add a cup of water plus two tablespoons. And notice that I'm putting it into a bowl that I'm gonna put inside the pot that comes with the Instant Pot. You can see the smaller pot with the brown rice and water going into the larger Instant Pot pot. Put the lid on, set the timer. When it was done, I used a green silicone mitt to take it out, put it on the counter, and then I used a tongs to remove the smaller inner pot. Seems complicated, but it really is very easy. And then, it came out perfect. I put it into the plastic container. I tasted it, it was a little bit hot. Put it aside until it cooled off and then put it in the fridge. Mission accomplished. That feels so great. I now can just open the fridge and pull out some rice. I can pull out some of the prepped vegetables. I can also open a can of beans. I can make a quick sauce. I actually am probably gonna prep some sauces this week. And I have a meal. It's really so easy. That's it, that is the secret. Prep your food. If you made it through the whole video, please comment with the word prep, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.